We're going to talk a little bit about the new Bosch 5100i Dinian bullet camera. We've been playing around with it for the past couple of days. It's your um, you know, mid-range bullet. Um, it comes in a couple different versions. Uh, first of all, it is a starlight technology for very low light level, but it also has IRs, and the IRs are intelligent. So as you get closer, they'll actually you know detect you without blooming out. Um, and they'll set their, their range accordingly. Now the other part of it is you can also, as you set the telephoto or the lens, it will adjust also the IRs for longer range and shorter range. So it really has two ways to set your IRs up to give you the best, best picture. Um, also come in a couple different flavors, the 1082 megapixel, five megapixel, and then also the eight megapixel uh, 4K version. Um, so again, depending on what your resolution, what you're looking for, you know, it'll be able to adapt to what it, your needs are. Now, there are some really cool features too that helps for the installer. One of the really neat things that I found was this, you know, Bosch has kind of moved to this mounting plate where they have this really nice heavy mounting plate mm -hmm. and they um, have the, the red arrows make everything easy to do, but effectively, very simple to set up, put the mounting plate, mount the mounting plate to the wall, put the box on, connect your wires through, yep. and then the camera just basically bolts to the front of this. Yeah. Very, very simple, very, very fast, very easy to do um, to get it together and take it apart. Yeah. The other thing is the mounting plate, as, as you know, comes with all of the, the different holes on it to match up with all the different plates. Uh, or the, yeah. the electrical boxes that are out there as well. For our demos and everything and the way we do things, boy, that is a big plus for us. But we also know as the installer goes, it never fails. You need that extra hole or a adapter. Well, the other issue, or the other nice feature with this is, A, for a bullet, it's IK10 rated, so it's vandal resistant. But also, there are some, um, you know, the adjustment that you can actually sit and it tells you as you turn the screw that it's locking it versus unlocking it. So again, it, it takes the guesswork out because nobody ever wants to do an installation and then go, what does this mean or how do you do this? You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you are interested, there, Bosch did two great install videos mm -hmm. that are available. We'll put the link in the, in the blog post with these. Very simple and easy to watch, make a great you know, training video yep. for new installers or people that are putting it in for the first time, but two videos that are, that are very good. Yep. Um, lensing on this camera, it's all the, the, all the versions, you know, from two megapixel, five megapixel, eight megapixel. They also come with a 3.2 to 10.5 millimeter lens. So again, all can be adjusted remotely so you can set your lens up. During the uh, setup, the focus yep. through the lens wizard and the, and exactly. the camera's web page or using one of the free configuration tools yep. that Bosch has. And the other nice thing, again, with that, you also get in the uh, 1080, two megapixel and five megapixel, 60 meter, 60 meter range with IR. And with the 8K, uh, sorry, 4K, eight megapixel, you get a 45 meter range. So again, a little bit longer distances than most of the domes out there. You know, and again, you get into the nuts and bolts, you know, flat glass versus curvatures and yep. things. It just helps the picture and picture quality and IR distance. And let's talk a little bit about that because mm -hmm. this camera, again, just like the 5100i dome camera, these things make amazing pictures. The HDR yeah. capability that we saw yesterday and the day before yep. when we were playing around with these guys were amazing. Um, just you know, the color recreation, the yep. ability for the camera, again, that you talked about the starlight capability, yep. the ability for the camera to make a picture in such low light. This scene, we use a lot, yeah. right? We come to the, to the fire department that's <laughs> close to us, Abbey and Fire Company. Um, and use this scene a lot. Yep. But you know, we were out during the day yesterday, we were in the mm -hmm. rain most all day and all night um, making videos and doing things. But you'll see in some of the videos that, we, that will follow through, the nighttime images yes. were incredible. Um, we do, you be, do the best we can with trying to show you what that looks like through the eyes of an iPhone or, or yep. a normal picture that you would see. But it's always amazing to go from the controlled environment of the, of the room where we're looking at the videos after we set everything up and when you walk outside to be a target in the field of view, you end up having to turn a flashlight on or find some because it, you take a couple seconds for your eyes to adjust yeah. because you, you don't realize how dark it is because the camera's 
able to make a great color picture in very, very, right. very low light. Right. Yeah, I, I think we, we always just uh, overlook when we say starlight, but you know, I always tell people starlight sees typically about three times better than the naked eye. And I know that's hard to, you know, qualify, but it, it really was, you know, yesterday we're making a color image when we were going outside and like you said, you couldn't even see, you know, and on top of it, if you do need it, the IRs are there, you know, as a backup. And the camera has the capability to automatically, automatically switch from that color during the day yeah to the black and white at nighttime and then it clicks the eye or eliminators on. Yep. We did some playing around last night where we actually lowered the switch, you know, the switch yep. from the black and white, or from the color to the black and white. Um, and we were able to turn that thing so low that again, we were pretty amazed that the camera wants to switch um, to black and white so it makes a great, great yep. picture. But when we were doing some manual playing around with it, we were still making a, a, a very impressive color mm -hmm. picture into the low light area. Yeah. Um, it's just if you want all of that great picture depth and breadth and everything else, that right. you let the camera switch over to, to yeah. the black and white and switch the IR on. Also, we saw once you started taking it without the IR on or leaving it in color mode, the analytics had a little bit tougher time also. So, and, and this camera does run CPP, uh, you know, 14.2, and it comes with the IVA Pro building packs installed with it. So, very little to no calibration. Again, just basically mount the camera. <laughs> the camera has all kinds of sensors in it. It knows how, how high it is, the angles that the camera is tilted, so on and so forth. So, you can literally take it out of the box, plug it in, or mount it to the wall, plug it in, yep. and when you turn it on, the camera's already yeah. making the, you know, the identification of yep. a person, a vehicle, you know, and other objects in the yep. field of view, tracking those things. Again, the videos that we did <laughs> during the day yesterday and, in, and last night, you'll be able to see that great, air, uh, that great footage from that. Yep. And again, like you said, once you get into that low light scenario, if you don't mm -hmm. let it switch over to the black and white, that's when you're, you mentioned you start to lose yep. track of things that are very distant away and mm -hmm. in, the, in the very dark shadowy area where that IR, if you allow that to come on, let the yeah. camera switch to black and white, we were able to maintain the same distance and the same tracking capability in those low light environments with the IR turned on yeah. in that low light. So yep. um, great feature to, um, to, to use if those things are important yep. to you. Yeah, one of the other things with this camera that again, you gotta be careful of with cameras, um, the capabilities, this has the capability of doing, of course, PoE, but also 12 volt and 24 volt. So again, if you have that application where you got to do maybe fiber to it, and you know you can't run power over fiber, needless to say, but you know you can then power it up then locally, um, or if you don't have a switch that's doing PoE, you, know, you can power this up then with traditional power. And there are options or fiber optic modules that can provide PoE. Yep to the device that they're yep. plugging into. So that's always an option yep. as well. Yep. So again, it's a, as a mid-range camera, there is a lot of functionality with this camera that you see on the more higher end you know, products. From the analytics, the power, the intelligent IR, different resolutions, the mounting ease. Um, it makes things a lot simpler and easier, but at the same time, if you have questions, if you're not sure, how do they get in touch with us? As always, they can contact us for demos, questions, uh, imp more better information on the, on the camera. They can contact us at support at midchess.com.